Good day, I am Dekaret Ginkono, and together with my group mates, we will be discussing what is a blind pelotage. And for our intended learning outcome, at the end of the session, the students will be able to define the meaning of a blind pelotage. Second, assess the risk that may happen in blind piloted passage. Third, learn techniques in blind piloted passage. And lastly, be aware about the factors to be considered. So as a short overview about a blind pilotage, it is simply navigating the vessel in a restricted visibility, which means there is non-visual. And the principle of non-visual aid to navigation is the ship's radar. Other non-visual aids are also employed including AIS, echo sonder, and ROTI, which are used for guidance. Good day, sir. I am De Cadet Laceja Rodel E, and I belong to group number four, and our topic is all about blind pilotage. So now, I'll define what is blind pilotage. So, blind pilotage means navigation of ship to restricted waters in low visibility. So he here are oh the my. factors of the restriction of visibility. It is the fog, the mist, falling snow, heavy rainstorms, sandstorms, and any other similar causes or reasons for the restricted of visibility or low of visibility. So as mentioned earlier, low visibility with let little or no recourse to the visual observation of objects outside the ship. The principal non-visual aid to navigation that enables to be done is high definition warning surface radar. But all available non-visual aids are employed. It is cl all clearly stated in International Regulation for Preventing Collision at Sea 1972 in Rule 19, which entitled Conduct of Vessels in Restricted Visibility. It is explained here all the techniques or what to do in case of navigating a ship in restricted visibility, especially during pilot blind pilotage operation. So, the organization to achieve this is called the Blind Pilotage Organization. It is comprising a blind pilotage team and led by blind pilotage officer or BPO. It uses teamwork, especially during this critical situation of blind pilotage because it has a low visibility situation and it has a lot of danger in this exercise or activity in and during the blind pilotage operation. So that's all for my report, sir. Thank you and God bless. Good day. My name is Dede Cadet Junior from Group 4 and I'm here to report about assessment of the risk involved in a blind piloted passage. So although normally the accuracy of blind pilotage is such that the ship can be taken to an open, open anchorage area within 50 yards of the desired place. So the degree of the risk involved uh, is particularly in restricted areas or waters must be carefully assessed. So in congestion due to other shipping, the, con the consequence of the failure of radar or other vital aids once the ship has been committed to per passage and the numbers of quality fixing marks must be taken into account. Good day, I am Decadet Gorin Charles GNC of the Honors Class Charlie and I am here going to talk about the parallel index technique. So the key to blind pilotage is the principle of the parallel index. The running of the parallel index line provides a real-time information on the ship's lateral position relative to the planned track. On the chart figure 1, a line is drawn from the edge of a radar conspicuous object. So, in any parallel indexing technique, the intended track of a ship in relation to a radar conspicuous fixed target reciprocal of the relative motion parallel for true motion is plotted in advance on the radar display.
So our traffic separation scheme limits margins of safety, wheel over positions, relevant nav marks, and other data. During passage, the display is carefully watched for any departure from the predetermined navigation plan. Deviations can be seen surprisingly simply and early. The appropriate corrective action is indicated and can easily be taken. The radar indexing technique depends heavily, of course, on the existence of good, reliable radar conspicuous fixed points, readily identifiable and accurately charted. Otherwise, the system is well within the ability of the average and otherwise competent deck officer to learn and apply. It does not require simulator training, but there is no doubt that the bridge team course is by far best way now available to teach the method. So that would be all from my part. Good day, sir. My name is Declared Captain Vincent, and I'm here to continue the report of Guarin. The so the perpendicular distance or cross index range from the object to the trap is then measured. The range trope on the radar is then set to this range and a solid cinegraph line drawn on the display parallel to the planned course on a scale appropriate to the range in use. So radar really comes into its own during poor visibility. The, te the techniques that will be described in this section applies to such circumstances while most modern marine radars now have a computer built in ARPA which provides many more features than the older sets, the basic principles of blind pilotage remain. With the old PPIs or planned position indicators, circular radar display screen, one needs a rota rotatable PPI cursor or circular perspex attachment to the PPI. Engraved with parallel index lines and designed to overcome parallel error, the technique used with these parallel lines is called parallel index. It was important that the center spot of the PPI should remain in the center and that the ship's heading marker should remain correctly lined up. Good day everyone. Good day Sir Dax. I'm Cadet Mangolari. And in continuation with what Cadet Guarin and Cadet Lepitan discuss about the parallel index technique and the perpendicular distance or the cross index range. So I'm here to continue the report. So positions 1 and 2 and 3 on the chart and radar display show the ship on track at various instances up to the time that the island is a beam to starboard. So as you can see in figure 1 parallel index below. Um, on the A chart, um, it shows two miles, and on the B, on the right side, which is the B radar display, range strobe at two miles. So positions four and five show the ship off track to port. So the exact distance off track can be measured by dividers from the radar echo of the island to the nearest point of radar clearing ranges. So see figure two, so which are similarly drawn at the maximum or minimum distances from the radar conspicuous objects to keep the ship clear of dangers. So these are drawn as broken lines as you can see on the um, figure two. So that's all for my report and the next reporter will be Kadit Makiling and it will all about it is all about the factors to consider. So, thank you. So, good day sir. I am Cadet Makiling. So, uh, the factors to consider are first is uh, the degree of risk involved in shifted waters must be carefully assessed prior to entering. Bridge watchers may be doubled up and watch level upgraded. Next is the congestion due to other shipping should be considered for both radars or ARPA should be operational uh, third is the consequences of failure of radar or other vital aids uh, 
uh, should be considered and risk assessment should be done. Then the fourth is the avail availability of na navigational aids which can be used in restricted visibility. Uh, it must be taken into account. Raccoons, AIS, buoys, or stations, BTS, and etc. So parallel indexing, next is the parallel indexing can be used uh, also as a power, powerful tool for position monitoring and execution of pa passage. Then draw one set of parallel index lines ahead of those in use. And lastly, uh, the factor to consider is plan the passage so as to steer a course to pass a, a given distance of a radar conspicuous point. Then alter of a navigational mark of point of land. So that's all for my report. Thank you.